the last two videos, we looked at two of the uh, low sounds. That is to say, the tongue is low or open, the jaw is open. A and A, both of which have the jaw open. This one's a front sound, A, so the lips are quite spread and the tongue is front, A. Uh, and this one, the uh, tongue is back and the lips are, m are not rounded but more open, A. Now, here's another of the open vowel sounds, and I will mime it first. So here's a mime that I use. <laughs> and maybe that means something to you, or maybe it doesn't. I find that my class, generally speaking, sort of agree around the, approximately the right point. Let me say it now. Ah. Ah. Very short sound. It's kind of quite hard to make really visible the short sounds. That's why the, the gesture can be very useful. So this is kind of showing ah, ah. Maybe I even do it lower ah, ah. So that when I'm miming, the uh, gesture gives some idea of the kind of energy distribution on this vowel. Anyway, what you can see is that the mouth, the jaw is open, the lips open lips not spread. The tongue is just lying at the bottom. It's not shaped. It's this sound here. Ah. Very short. Of course, one of its neighbours is also very short. That's the one uh, just upstairs from there, which is this. Uh. And in some varieties of English, uh, the, the, the two sounds are the same thing, Both the one sound is used for the two of them. Um, but in my variety of English, we make these two sounds separately. So here we've got ah, have a look at my mouth, ah, uh. In both, the tongue is staying in the same place, just kind of lying at the bottom of the mouth with the tip of the tongue, probably touching the back of the lower teeth. But what's moving is the jaw. Jaw down, jaw halfway up. Have a look again. Have you look at me sideways on. So th just that movement of the jaw makes that difference. Actually, these sounds are both short, and actually they are not so very far apart. They're pretty close neighbours. Let me just say them again. Uh, ah. And here this is bigger, it's got more resonance because the mouth is wider open, there's more space in there. Now, another of its neighbours going forwards is ah. So watch the difference. Ah, ah. You can you maybe can see my tongue coming forward. The tip stays the same, but the, the next bit of the tongue comes up. Ah, ah. The lips spread. Ah, ah. And there's that kind of little bit of tension that I indicated before when we studied that sound. Ah, ah, ah. And if we go back the other way, we get from ah to ah. Watch the difference. Ah, ah. There's the bigger space inside, uh, the tongue moves back. And if I uh, slide, I get ah. And it's maybe hard to discern that, but they are nevertheless two separate vowel sounds. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And what the difference is that the tongue has moved back and there's more space uh, for the vibration of, this, uh, of the air inside the mouth.